It's really good. If any of the rolls have lemon on it, I would. Did you want to add anything else? Did I already put the tempura? I think I did. Okay. There you it go. It tastes like anything. It tastes like ocean. Oh, like salt water? Kind of, yeah. That's baby fish that just squirted off. Ew. Why'd you get so scared? I'm so scared. Oh, there's rice at the bottom too. Oh, well, if it's recording, then I should be more polite. Domo arigato gozaimashita. What does that mean? Thank you very much. Thumbs up. Do you want me to do it? No. I don't need no man. <laughs> What'd she say? You guys are never gonna believe me when I tell you we are moving again. We have moved so many times in the last 11 years. Obviously my husband is in the military. If you've been on my channel before, you probably already know that. So obviously, yes, we move a lot. In particular, the last two years, we moved from Southern California to the Bay Area. We currently live in San Jose, which is where we're from. When we found out that we were moving to the Bay Area, our first choice was San Francisco. That's where we wanted to be if we were able to choose. Our second choice was San Jose, which which is where we're at now. Obviously, we're both from here, so we both have family here. So we moved into an apartment in San Jose. After about a year, we ended up moving in with my in-laws for a few months, and then we ended up moving out of their house and into the place that we're in now. We've only been here for a couple months, and now we're moving again. So my husband has to report to his new office in like a week, and we just found this out a couple weeks ago. He just recently got promoted, which is amazing, but they are relocating him to San Francisco, which is crazy because that's obviously where we wanted to be originally. For at least the first month, he's gonna commute to San Francisco, which if you don't know, it's about an hour drive without traffic. We're hoping maybe to just have the kids finish off the school year, so like till the end of May. We may move before that, but we aren't 100% sure. I've been like apartment hunting like crazy because of San Francisco, I'm like low-key excited. Obviously, I'm gonna miss my job, the people that I work with, work at. A powerlifting gym. I'm gonna miss that. 
so much. That was like the first thought that came into my mind when I found out that we were moving to San Francisco. Is I'm gonna miss Forecast so much, but it's okay. Luckily, like I said, we have family here, so I will be back to visit. So we already looked at one apartment, not this weekend, but next weekend, we're gonna be apartment hunting again. I've been getting rid of stuff. If you know me, I am a minimalist. We don't have a lot of stuff to begin with, but with kids and a husband, things accumulate over time. So I've just been going through our stuff and trying to get rid of as much as I can because I'm a professional at moving at this point and I know that there is no reason to bring unnecessary stuff. It just makes the move 10 times harder. I haven't really talked about my job much, but I love it so much. I work at a middle school and I work with eighth graders. It's amazing. I love my job so much, but I'm obviously going to have to quit when we move, which sucks, but I do have a plan. I definitely want to continue working when we move and I have a plan. So I'll tell you guys about that a little bit later, but as of right now, I'm just rolling with the punches as I usually do as a military wife. At this point, I should probably just make a moving series on my channel because we move so damn much. So we're moving again to San Francisco. everybody today is a very special day because it is my birthday I turned 32 today feeling good got some in and out about to go in little update we applied to an apartment building so far everything looks good we're still waiting to hear back to see whether or not we were accepted if everything goes according to plan with that apartment we should be moving on April 1st which is about three weeks away If you're an in and out hater, what are you doing? <laughs> when you eat, do you ever like stop halfway through chewing a bite, take a drink, and then finish chewing? I feel like some people think that's gross, but I do it all the time. It's very satisfying to me. I love being by myself. I love my husband, I love my kids, but it makes me so happy to have time to myself. Be able to just go get food, eat in my car, vibe out, talk to you guys. What's y'all's in and out order? I got a double-double with onions, animal style fries, and a root beer. If I'm hella hungry, I'll get an extra just single cheeseburger on top of the double-double with fries and a drink, but this should be good for me today. Thank you so much. If you made it this far in the vlog, you're the real MVP. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.